Hi, welcome to the new series YouTube sh Shorts by Kumarisan. And first of all, I would like to thank Professor Sukumar of IIT H, who kind of um, persuaded me to do this. Even though I had been thinking about, but okay, like all things, you starting trouble. The first of the series is going to be on tangents and introduction to some kind of differential geometry, and all this short series will be less than about 15 minutes and try to give you ideas perhaps not proofs okay so let us get started yeah so i the major problem i find is that i have to learn modern differential geometry is the definition of tangents is very abstract and many students have a problem with that. They cannot visualize and there is no geometry, okay? So, this I am going to give some easy, easy ideas of how to look at tangents, okay? I will also look at two special cases, perhaps not all these things today, but we will do it in two or three steps, okay? So, the first thing is we have to look at curves. Any tangent, we need a curve, okay? So, gamma is a curve from, let's say, an interval A, B to R n maybe an open sub some subset yes yes of rn okay uh, as usual i assume non empty right so what kind of thing so the way we do do we think of this the first thing is continuous but we actually want it to be differentiable okay so that means if i write gamma t as a vector in rn so i, I can write it x1 of t xn of t so I want it's a differential that simply means so remember all x j is a function from a b to r so it's a differential in the usual sense I call the this is x and t primordial okay the way the physicists think of this is a motion of a particle okay so this is my rn and this is gamma at a and this is gamma at b and it may go like this and this is the point at gamma t at time t this is the so gamma t you think of as the position vector of the vertical the particle starts at time a ends at time b and this is the path traversed by the particle this is the interpretation okay based on that they also think of gamma prime t as the velocity vector of the part motion of the particle B geometers call it tangent vector at instant at the instant t you will see why because if I tell you this I travel this so this may be my tangent at this when I go here this way okay you see that this is gamma t1 equal to gamma t2 Okay, at gamma t1, this may be tangent vector, gamma t2, this may be tangent vector. Therefore, you have to say tangent vector at the instant, at the time, at time t. Okay, right. So, this is the definition. Let's look at some simple examples. Okay, the first thing is, suppose gamma is a curve, constant curve, that is gamma of a t, okay, gamma of t equal to a single point P in R n for all t in the interval a b. Then gamma prime t is 0 that is velocity is 0 and the tangent vector is 0 that is the first example trivial. Second example the standard thing suppose I have a line segment suppose I have points P and Q right I want to just do that so I will define it to be gamma from 0 1 to R n so that gamma of 0 is p gamma of 1 is q right so how will i define this again you define is gamma t equal to p plus t times q minus p okay if you want to think of this x and y if you have problem with that think of this y minus x so you can think of them as vectors right therefore what is gamma prime t gamma prime t is the vector y minus x the way to do that is if you write as 
rotation this will be x1 plus t times y1 minus x1 etc xn plus t times yn minus xn therefore the tangent vector is gamma prime t is d by dt of this that is y1 minus x1 and yn minus xn that is why it is called y minus x the tangent vector. The third example is of course circle that is the easier one ok. So, let us look at gamma from 0 to pi to let us say r2 and gamma t is let us say r cos t and r sin t ok. Then what is gamma prime t? Gamma prime t is minus r sin t and r cos t right. Think of this as this a circle ok. This is radius r and this is the one. This is my r cos t r sin t and this is will be perpendicular to that. You can see these two are orthogonal. Do you see that? Gamma t is perpendicular gamma prime t. Yeah. So, these are the notion of tangent vectors. One of the other important examples is suppose I have a function f from open set u in R n to R assume this is differentiable then I can think of this as a curve ok. Mm, is that what I want? Yeah. Oh, let us see ok gamma t ok no let me just uh, let me start with the function here from r to r some interval j in r let us say the interval is a b then I have a curve gamma t equal to the graph f t d t. So, this is a curve in r 2 ok. Therefore, what is gamma prime t? Gamma prime t is 1 f dash t. Now, you see that this like again look at this is my a b and this is the so at this point this is my t of t that <coughs> I want to you know this is the slope of the tangent ok f prime t this is what it says. Remember this is a vector and what is the slope of this vector? Slope of the vector will be y by x ok All right. Now what I want to stop with is why tangent vector is called a tangent vector. The reason is in conic sections we have studied the notion of tangent line. For all the classic conic sections like circle, ellipse, hyperbola, parabola, etc., okay, we have found equations of tangent line, right. So, this is the trick now. The trick is that suppose I have a conic section, let us say gamma t equal to a cos t b sin t 0 less than equal to 2 less than equal to 2 pi this is a parametric equation of an ellipse ellipse right. So, I can say what is the curve the tangent vector curve tangent vector is minus a sin t b cos t right. Now, the trick is to learn ok if I have any vector space over r v is a vector space over r and if I have two ok I want to write ok this is my v I want to write a, a line passing through p in the direction of v ok this is a line l p v ok line passing through this is the in the direction this is called the vector direction. So, how will I define L p of v is p plus t v as 0 ok t varies over all the I will get the entire line right. Therefore, I have the tangent this is the ellipse I have point here I want the tangent line ok to this I want a line passing through this point p which is a cos t b sin t and in the direction of gamma prime t right. So, 
my tangent line equation of okay my tangent line at let's say x naught y naught which is equal to a cos t naught but let me simply write a cos t okay t is t naught if you want to specify t naught okay at, so that is given by x naught plus y naught plus what is the direction direction of gamma prime t okay so this is since I already used to t I will be in trouble so let me write as theta here theta equal to theta naught and t is gamma prime theta that is going to be x naught y naught plus t times let us go back gamma prime t gamma prime t let us use theta here therefore gamma prime theta is going to be minus b by uh, minus a by b y y naught and this is b by a x naught do you understand that because b cosine theta is y naught therefore to get i multiply by y naught i get this therefore it is going to be t times minus a by b y naught b by a x naught so as t varies over all of r right therefore let us start with the point x y which is in the line that means there is a t such so that x y is this therefore I can see x minus x naught is going to be minus t a by b y naught therefore t is going to be x naught minus x by y naught into I hope I am writing it correctly if I do wrongly please let me know b by a right y naught goes down b by a minus goes down there right and let's look at y minus y naught y minus y naught is going to be y minus y naught is going to be again b by a x naught therefore my t it is also equal to y by y naught by a by x naught into a by b is it okay but these two are equal because for the same t x y equal to this right therefore I get x minus x naught by y naught into b by a equal to y by y naught by x naught into a by b so multiply this equation by x naught y naught a b what do I get x minus x naught this y naught get cancelled into x naught and and b by a b, b this uh, b squared I hope I did correctly okay a into b a cancel therefore it's b squared okay right that is equal to y minus y naught into y naught into a squared right so divide everything by 1 by a squared b squared then what do I get x x naught by a squared minus x naught squared by a squared equal to y y naught by uh, minus yeah minus y y naught by no plus okay plus y y naught by b squared minus y naught squared by b squared right bring everything to the other side there may be some sign change okay I just uh, pardon me if I made some sign change so I should get x x naught by a squared plus y y naught by b squared equal to x naught squared by a squared plus y naught squared by b squared which is equal to 1 okay please check the signs so as you know this is the equation of the tangent equation for tangent line to the ellipse so you can see what we got right so I define what is a tangent vector and I said why a tangent vector is called a tangent line because it determines the tangent line to conic sections as we learned in high school right now we will see how to identify tangent vectors to some of the concrete objects that will be second shots I hope you enjoyed 
and please do not worry about some science changes etc you are much better than i am you can do it better okay keep in touch we'll be back